Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Holy Roman Emperor Man as the Ottomans. So what we're going to do now, actually, come to think of it, is um, we will just return this core to, to Georgia. We will vassalize um, Georgia right now, as soon as we get a diplomat home, and then we will use the cancelled loan CB as our excuse to go and take this land back. Georgia has a claim up there, but they don't actually own it. What that means is we could take these two provinces and then sell them to Georgia. So we will do that. We will take um, a single artillery. Not much of this stuff. Move it forward. I don't anticipate him having much of an army. These guys, I think we actually send to where we have the active missionary. Just to reduce revolt risk slightly. Keep our income high. And I would really like it if um, some of these would actually finish, please. February 11th. Well, it's only a few months, but it just seems like it's dragging on. Hmm. Sort of a sizable army there. I guess you're actually going to go this way then. So we get to play chicken with him. Have our diplomat back? Okay, so Georgia, you will become an Ottoman vassal. On the other hand, uh, if we were to do full annexation, it's 97 points. That's stupid. Yeah, Ottoman vassal. Transfer trade power. Give money. And we still have a little bit of work. Still have a little tiny bit of wiggle room. And all your treaties with Lithuania for no reason other than to give us more prestige. That sounds fine. 32 diplo points to gain a vassal. Sounds pretty good. Can't release Iraq quite yet. Alright. Uh, we have... Uh-oh. We've assumed leadership in the war against... Okay. Armenia dishonored a call to arms. So we just assumed leadership in a war against Kara we were just at war with Kara. At least we didn't get a broken truce from that. But it's okay, I was planning on attacking and backstabbing Armenia anyway to feed back to Georgia. So Georgia is our vassal now. Uh, we are apparently at war and we can just feed this core back to Georgia. Or this claim. So we'll take this province in the war as well. Lots going on. A little bit of chicken. I can just keep threatening to send my army forward and he'll quit trying to come for us. Call the guy from Brunswick. God, these are all so close. That's rather annoying. Need to get the revolt risk down. Soon, I think that he'll actually take the province. There we go. A royal marriage from Brunswick. Um, we actually have spare relationship slots. But Brunswick is somebody that I need, I need to attack. I've got the CB against them, so we're going to decline. We have a free diplomat. One Imperial Authority, and I am pretty sure that it is 40 Opinion. What I like to do is, when I get, like, if I get up to 53 Imperial Authority, then I'll just bestow Imperial Grace three times. And that way I feel like I'm not wasting the excess Imperial Authority. Because ideally you don't want to... At least I, I think you don't want to waste Imperial Authority. So this is um, not really the best territory. Can we catch you? 27th, 20th. What if we scare you and then go for you? Hey! Excellent. Where's my uh, my navy? Let's 
get these troops home now, since this, this land is quite safe. Still, this one's not considered to be adjacent. That's fine. This one, we're working on. Revolt risk-wise, we still have some revolt risk in Dalmatia. I think what we'll do, just to make sure that this thing gets cored as fast as possible, is just ferry this this 20 stack over to Dalmatia. Or maybe we ferry it, ferry it over to Albania, and then we take care of that, and then go do it. That works, too. Okay. Um, we've got Head to Jazz. Helping out. Mamluki and Peasants are kicking the Mamluks' butt. And we are on track to go fight this army. Converted some people. Let's let's try to convert Mosul. Thirty-one months. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Aladdin, Aladdin, four-two. Pretty good with his artillery. Okay, increase free trade. Not bad. A little bit more war score. So the ones that we want are going to be these three. So I feel like probably detaching and then just just going for Dagestan and just going for the land that we want will be the most efficient. Meanwhile, we've got somebody on the capital. We've got you defending this thing. We should probably harsh treatment this. It's not a lot of manpower. A lot of points. Diplotech probably going to happen soon. We only have a couple more of these things. Tolerance of the True Faith isn't that useful, really. I mean, I guess it is. Tolerance of Heretics would help us more right now. Where's our navy? Come on! Get over there! Get in the chopper! I mean the... Galleys, the trans... Cogs! Get in the cogs! Yes, that's, that's how you say it. I'm just worried with that breached walls that they might actually get that thing. How are we doing on advisors? Level 2, 2, 1. Fort defense. Diplo rep is um, very good. Yearly inflation reduction. I think we have some serious inflation and it's going up. Yearly prestige is certainly not that useful to us. For a hundred ducats, yeah, I think that I'd rather switch. I think it'll save us a hundred ducats in the long run, right? Every single thing costs. Why did I just do that? Every little thing costs an extra percent more. Fort defense guy would be kind of nice. He'd slow that thing down. Okay, siege these two. Austria's decided to embargo us. That's fine. We'll make love, not war. We'll, we'll make, we'll turn them. We'll make them like us. Won the Siege of Mench. I do not want them to take this damn thing, because it's going to cost us a ton. They have no leader. Let's just charge them. Even over the strait. It's going to cost a lot of revolt risk, and I'm pretty sure that this is a... Uh... Oh, it is Sunni. No. I thought it was one of our good provinces, one of the orthodox ones. Higher income. Ooh, Timurids are showing up with force. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Timurids assumed control of the war. <clears throat> Guess we get to play chicken with them now.
Hess just became a vassal of Austria. Well, that's interesting. With our free diplomat, why don't we go and improve relations with somebody? Bohemia is a bit upset. They rivaled us. Even though they're a rival, we'll just kind of average all the opinions out, I think. It's not good, man. It's not what I wanted to see. These revolts. 20 seconds. Forty-two regiments. They've, they've amassed quite the army there. Three-five-three leads Austria. He is actually heading up to here. Is he suffering attrition? Five percent attrition. That's funny. Timurids are dying to their own death stack. That's great. All right, so we got the three provinces that I want. Oh, Timurids. Which diplomat can we recall? I suppose Austria or Bohemia are the, the two that don't matter quite as much. But Austria's in the coalition, so let's just bring him right back from Bohemia. And we've won another siege. That's very nice. To actually get the Timurids to want to end the war, we might have to go and take something of the Timurids. So Markand is pretty far away. Alternatively, we are, uh, we've won every battle, so we're getting a ticking war score. I need to get this war over, though, soon, because once this thing finishes, we, only, we have about two years, and we need to be ready to core thing, or to, uh, Add stuff. We've got to release the rack. One young man in our diplomatic corps has distinguished himself. Diplomatic relations plus one. Gain patriarch authority or gain imperial authority. So patriarch authority is something that seems to just be a constant modifier for our car, excuse me for our country. The longer we, the more effort I put into raising it, the more significant. It kind of is. The reduced revolt risk and missionary strength seems very good. On the other hand, a short-term boost to Imperial Authority gets us to the end-game goal quicker. The quicker we can pass all these reforms, the better. The Diplomat... no, it's not, not good. Temporary relationship slots just usually come and bite me in the butt. So it's a real toss-up to me between the Patriarch Authority and the Imperial Authority. I think the Imperial Authority is easier to gain than Patriarch Authority. Which means I think that the Patriarch Authority is going to be better for us. Plus the missionary strength will help out. We have a lot of land to convert. Like, the whole world. Because we have to core things and convert them before we can add them to the HRE. So, yeah, Patriarch Authority is going to have to happen. This army not getting caught, is it? We're nowhere near our force limit, but we don't really have a lot of money right now. You know, we're capped out on manpower, so we should build more men. Even if we just just make a ton of men just for the sake of having more men, it's a really good thing to spend our money on because it does relative strength of the alliance in our favor. I think we just make a ton of infantry. Infantry are manpower expensive, money inexpensive and we have lots of manpower this will scare the hell out of the Timurids relative strength of the alliance is already at negative 13 but when we become the number one world power with uh, well we are number one in military right now but when we make it even bigger <laughs> of course they are also scared of our manpower they factor that in as well 
But we do need to, to do that so that we can recover some more. He is now moving into Dagestan. He will be there on the 18th. This army is not even trying to leave. It's like we get to play chicken with him. So he, he's afraid of a half stack. We can take another idea. Tolerance of the True Faith. Are we actually having any issues with territory that is already the correct religion? We actually are. Problems like this. Bulgarian Orthodox. Our war exhaustion, a little bit of overextension. I guess it does help out. It kind of offsets overextension. We don't really need the admin ideas, admin points right now. So, Plus this gives us the reduced cost of war exhaustion reduction. We're only at 0.89 though. So this should drop down to 0.5. Makes a little bit more money. Oh, interesting. He's actually still willing to come. Okay, looks like we're ready to fight. Let's go, Timrids. Let's see what you got. Took a crossing penalty. Ali of 4-0. Not so good when shock is all that really matters. So our six regiments are holding out pretty damn well um, while we wait for reinforcements, which will be there in five more days. And now we have cannons. <laughs> Lots of them. <laughs> Good job, Timurids. You are the you're the best, and uh, pretty sure we just kind of ignore them. There's still high war enthusiasm, even though they're getting kicked pretty heavily. So we have a, fair, a, a free diplomat, Timurids. I want this and this. That's it. And then this is from a different a different war. And maybe we can even return. Syrah, whatever it's called, instead of trying to take it directly. I want Manch, and I want to return this to Georgia. 104, negative 104. The war score demands 46, so, yeah, that's pretty much all that I really want for now. Got a whole slew of new infantry. We'll pile them onto a province with revolt risk. Reduce the revolt risk, increase relative strength of the alliance, that whole thing. Come on, cores! Get in there. Ragusa, Zeta. All three of these are about to finish. We only have... Um, well, all three of them are active. Mosul is a few more years away, and then we can release Iraq. Okay, we are making money. I did take out some more loans. You know, a thousand bucks. Not a big deal, though. All right. I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.